visible sir okay thank you thank you yes sir we can go ahead okay ma'am shall we start uh... good evening everyone uh, so welcome to the second session on uh, special lecture of law of torts Uh, so today uh, sir is going to continue uh, with the second chapter that is general defenses uh, so any queries and a questions you have you can ask at the end of the session or else you can raise your hands and directly ask the uh, resource person thank you so much so over to you thank you thank you very much madam uh, good evening to all uh, very happy so we are continuing with the second session Uh, we have completed the first unit actually the only one chapter and uh, that includes uh, mental elements also uh, just to recap i'm saying that we discussed the definition and winfield definition solomon etc and we rec- we understood the concept of legal right uh, and also the legal duty of course and the legal damage legal damage essentials of definition essentials of torts when a tort tortious liability arises so when those two uh, essentials are fulfilled uh, say one can uh, claim compensation before the court of law so that is and whether mental element is relevant yes oftenly we consider the mental element maybe intention maybe carelessness maybe malice uh, these are all elements where we consider in different types of uh, torts so that is the first chapter just to say that very important cases what we discussed ashby versus white and um, uh, constantine versus imperial waters limited and beam singh versus state of jammu and kashmir for the injuria sign damno again uh, in damno sign injuria gloucester grammar school case mogul steam ship company versus magregor bone company and uh, usha bain case and chesmer roses richards bradford corporation speakers why i am repeating case because the uh, the law of torts is is based on the full of cases so you have to remember the cases well that's why okay and we also discussed two important cases glasgow corporation versus taylor and um, uh, municipal corporation of delhi versus subhagwanti these are the cases what we have discussed in the first chapter of course in the second chapter when we recognize the legal right suppose in case of breach of duty by the defendant sorry a breach of duty the plaintiff takes action but the principle now we adopted i'm saying that the other party actually has an opportunity to uh, justify his stand justify is act avan en maadidane adanna avan defense thagabodu justify maadkobodu so hagage there are another terminology used in this chapter suppose if you refer to uh, winfield and bangia and other other books you come across the terminology general defenses but when you refer to ratanlal justifications of torts aa pada bandaga don't confuse actually general defenses anta bandaga you are all familiar but at the same time uh, explain or discuss the justifications of torts and thandre so you have to write the defenses okay and this is the second chapter and also the second unit today a little bit uh, say i will take a speed i'm saying that uh, because i like to cover both the chapters uh, in the second uh, unit today of course justification of torts bandaga say this is one of the fundamental aspect that the other party gets the opportunity to defend right to defend right to defend is case i'm saying that even a murderer rapist the people are there see in every case the opponent party is actually has to defend their the law gives ample opportunity always i remember adi alterum partem it is it is an instruction that you to the court that you have to hear the other party also only hearing the plaintiff say you cannot deny the justice to defendant you cannot come to a conclusion that defendant is always a wrong that itself is a wrong say defendant also has some justifications 
for right cause he might have done something or the wrong may be very trivial matter trivial matter where the law ignores that ignores that so whenever such situation arises or every situation i'm saying that the defendant can take certain defenses what you call plea of defenses uh, before the court and can avoid the liability of course not after the plaintiff's action the defendant may plead defenses to avoid his liability there are some specific defenses ili eight defenses defenses andaga you when you come to the new sense effectual defenses ineffectual defenses when come to some of the trespass to assault and battery there are some defenses assault and battery false imprisonment bandaga some specific defenses trespass to land some specific defense like that in various uh, torts we come across specific uh, defenses to a wrong and also in new sense we have effectual and ineffectual the defenses are but this particular chapter deals with uh, the eight general defenses available to a defendant of course uh my dear friends uh, a when i say eight voluntary not fit injury or the plaintiff the wrong do your inevitable accident act of god and i i i and private defense mistake necessity statutory authority are the eight general defenses among eight whenever required say defendant can plea any one of these defenses and escape from the responsibility that is always there but my point is that the very first one was prominent and it is applicable to in almost in all circumstances circumstances we discussed this particular concept on the basis of consent adu modulne edena voluntary non fit injury voluntary non fit injury of course one who agrees to suffer the risk voluntary not fit injury are the defense of consent defense of consent my dear friends the consent play a vital role in our daily life for everything we have to give a consent maybe express consent or implied consent even by conduct terms implied consent means by conduct we give consent when we give a consent see i remember there are many uh, rape cases actually where the uh, accused always take a defense that it is uh, i took the he admits the sex sexual relation he says that i have taken consent i have taken voluntary consent from the opponent party athwa aggrieved party see but the lady under 114a of indian evidence act she can come to court and say that i have not given wall given consent consent the the presumption is that the court has to take as it is that she was not given consent though she was con- gave consent why i am referring to this because how the court has to consider a particular evidence whether the consent given or consent not. to consider the rape it is against the will of the person if she has given a consent it is a consensual sexual relation i'm saying that so that's why the consent play a very very a prominent role in every transaction apada evalu use martta irthe nanu transaction ondu vyavaharane ondu vyavara ana vyavara evathar irbodu contractual irbodu athava even otherwise otherwise of course see one who agrees to suffer the risk andre there are two components agrees and the consent the consent given why he gives a consent to suffer the risk that means the 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 person who uh, claims or uh, you know makes allegation that say the consent sorry uh, the defendant uh, takes a plea that the plaintiff has given consent consent for what to suffer the risk and the plaintiff was aware while giving consent that there was some sort of risk is there apaya ide anta gottiddu avanu avanu oppige kottirtane this is what the plea before the court of law by the defendant ig ig nodi ivaga slide nim mundene ide 
when a person consents to infliction of some harm upon himself he has no remedy for that in tort see it is a it is a plain statement of course consent adanna now we are going to dissect and say that what type of consent what extent the consent applicable to the circumstances all these things we have to analyze them in case the plaintiff voluntarily agrees to suffer some harm he is not allowed to complain for that and and his consent serves as a good defense the consent is also equally important in contracts when when a consent is not backed by coercion mistake undue influence misrepresentation etc the consent said to be free free consent ant heltive contract alli but here the in the same sense we take that when we are when you are transacting with other people actually other person you have given a voluntary consent voluntary means not even any uh, compulsion coercion mistake and influence misrepresentation yavudu illa and voluntary consent that means voluntary consent means free consent free consent no that such things are there to suffer the arm so for the arm so he agrees to suffer parvaila anta anna tara he is not allowed to complain for that and his consent serves as a good defense against himself so once he gives a consent he, he cannot blame others now we have to contribute in negligence le the very first principle what we have to adopt is that take care yourself first and then allege against another you are also like that while giving consent to any person you should understand the what the degree of risk uh, is present there and whether i to give a consent or not of course when there is a danger say you are giving consent to a danger uh, normally sports sports actually is an entertainment cultural activity and kabaddi for example boxing for example hockey football there are many sports actually the players when they enter the field they are given voluntary consent the every sports has its own you know uh, uh, dangers actually but so that is a rough game kabaddi for example rough game boxing for example the rough games many people died on the field even in the cricket people died on the field but they can't blame anybody of course even there even if there is a death legal heirs cannot blame others uh, because this is a sport because he voluntarily enters the field uh, to play and knowing the risk very well of course and doctor and the patient a uh, patient voluntarily goes to a doctor request for the treatment for his diseases and uh, if the doctor conducts operation or treats the patient say the patient cannot blame of course when he conduct operation he cannot say that without causing injury to his body uh, he he cannot conduct operation after later he cannot blame the doctor that's there is exactly there is a fiduciary relationship between the doctor and the patient doctor a doctor takes the consent nowadays you know a written consent they take and treats the patient so express consent given of course you shop kala hoy vadre operation adag matra written consent tagotare say other otherwise when you are consulting a doctor say they prescribe medicine and it is voluntary of course okay invitation to your house that is an example say you called your friend when he enters your home you cannot blame because he was an invitee invitation andaga he becomes invitee and you cannot blame him. you may call simply or for a festival or for any other for any any other any other ceremony or something like that anything you called your friend relatives or anybody and later you cannot blame for trespass to land and entering uh, your house so it is consent given of course now a beautiful case uh, now we discussed that hall versus brookland auto racing club namage main question ella college galallo ella vidyarthigalu kelo prashne est case barebeku yav case barebeku now nim slide galna nenne no slide gal nodidre ivattu slide gal nodtidira now sir but dark madirtene bold madidine 
So these cases are required to be written in the examination, of course. Uh, Hall versus Brookland Auto Racing Club. Of course, you have already heard. And uh, there was a uh, motor car race. Hall purchased a ticket and entered the stadium. While sitting in the stadium, as a spectator, the, there was a collision between two cars. The force was, impact was so high that uh, the car, say actually, jump and falls on a spectators. They have taken all reasonable care. Any you know, statutory care required according to sports, whatever the require, required, they have taken all reasonable care. But still, impact was so high, it falls on the spectator. You know the distance, even in the motor car races, of course. What are the defenses they take? They put tires. So, so many things are there. So, here, he, when he, he was injured, actually, when he was fighting... I have when, when he was filed a case, illi nimage important point when he purchased it, purchased a ticket and he entered the stadium. The ticket, how do you interpret, construe the, construe the ticket? Mute markali, mute markali, friend, mute markali. Uh, the ticket, we have to interpret the purchase of ticket. The ticket, what, what, how do you going to interpret that? So, you are given, when purchase a ticket, you are given a express consent, say, to enter the stadium and witness the car race. For that, you are paid, paid. There is also implied consent that if anything goes wrong, Maybe what happened now, actually, although there may be quarrel among the spectators. You you know that even in footballs, the the spectators they they fight each other. They fight each other. These are the things, and that's why in this case uh, the court said he has given express as well as implied consent uh, while purchasing the ticket. That will be construed like that. Hence, uh, Hall was in, not entitled to. Uh, claim any remedy though he was injured so brookland auto racing club has taken all reasonable care hence no liability arises so they applied warranty non-fit injuria and the hall has gave a consent hence uh, defendants were not responsible defendants took the defense the plea of defense that is warranty non-fit injuria accepted Say whatever the in the slide actually you are seeing Padmavatius Dugganayaka, Thomas versus Quatermain, Illiter versus Wilkes. In all the three cases, the similar decision was held, and they said they applied voluntary not fit injuria. They said defendants were not responsible. Padmavatius Dugganayaka, when Jeep was going uh, taking towards defendants taking <laughs> taking the Jeep towards uh, the you know petrol bank. While going, yeah, mute mark So, Maunish or please mute your mic, Maunish. Madi thare, pade pade ado idak thare to open akta ida. Okay, fine. Uh, while taking a jeep to a petrol bank, the two persons requested for a lift. Okay, voluntarily, they voluntarily requested and is agreed to take them while going. What happened? The front wheel axle bolt loosened and the front wheel right side, it is loosened and come out and the Jeep was toppled actually, toppled. So these two were uh, died actually because of accident and their wife, Padmavati, uh, you know, filed a suit against the defendants for this. It is a, it, in this case, what they said, it is a sheer accident. The Jeep was maintained well. There is no negligence uh, on their part. And uh, one day, one the difference, Nano, Yochane Madado, Kelavu Vicharagulu Namu Gotagalayaki and whether the driver was taking the Jeep or the owner, the presumption is that the owner actually was taking the Jeep to a petrol bank and he gave a lift, but while giving lift, it happened. Okay, both, both the died. The first thing they considered is a sheer accident. And then second one, the, the, the pedestrians, 
they voluntarily request for a lift okay these on based on these two and the consent given by them hence voluntary not present applied my question now is nane nanage question madkota irudu if the driver is taking the jeep to a petrol bank though the pedestrians are roadside people actually if they ask for a lift the driver is not supposed to give a lift because no entry to a master vehicle no authority for them for that adrinda he they cannot give if the servant is taking the jeep then avoid what i say negligence on the part of the servant and vicariously liability but presumption in this case because when they applied the voluntary not fit injury the owner himself is taking the jeep to a, a petrol bank this is what i'm saying that enaru tappidre heli madam ashte inella my interpretation was that vicarious liability ban budute yes sir yes sir um ekadre how only few facts few points will be there how you will understand that anad prashne barutha ashte inenilla um ekadre servant get there is responsibility because he is driving a master's vehicle and is not supposed to give entry to anybody of course it is it is a clear cut prohibition is implied also hagagi aa tara helade ashte nenilla thomas versus quarter mine it is again a contractual relation between the employer and employee uh, he was uh, thomas was asked to take care of uh, boiling vats it is a brewery factory uh they asked him to and he was employed to take care of boiling vats <coughs> even he was he was placed in a such a situation where in in front he, he has to take care of boiling vats in the back side uh, there was a cooling chamber they have kept boiling vats allinda bisi bisi madadella no a boil adadanna hinde idbeku avanu aa tara ella irutte hangagi one time actually there was a uh, lid of a vat was stuck and he used an extra force when he used extra force it, the lid came off suddenly and he lost his balance and he fell back to a, a cooling chamber where the boiling vats kept idu employer and employee relation actually has given a voluntary consent he know the nature of employment he know the risk and <coughs> sorry and that's why again the court applied voluntary not fit injury illert versus wilks ಇದು ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಗನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಗನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಕೇಸ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಗನ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಗನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಟೂ ಅದು ಬರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಹಾಲ್ ಬ್ರೂಕ್ ಇಲೆಟ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಓನರ್ ಓನರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಗನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ದ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಟು ದ ಅಂದರೆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಟು ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಲೆಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫುಲಿ ವೆಲ್ say there was a spring gun he has entered without consent of the owner and the spring gun fired at him and he was injured but when his case was filed against the owner of the land uh, for, for what he suffered injury from spring gun the court said uh, the owner actually has taken all reasonable care he has fixed the notice board and also say he has entered without consent so understand Uh, friends uh, the defendant actually sorry the owner actually owes no duty towards the strangers or who trespassers actually trespassers that was the contention taken in the bird versus har brook ella care tagond mele amale he is a trespasser and he has entered without consent hence they said no uh, is a voluntary not fit injury knowing fully well the danger he has entered the land ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ನಲ್ಲ ಆಗಲೇ ಕನ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂದರೆ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನೋ ಫ್ರಾಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಕ್ವಯರ್ಷನ್ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಇರಕೂಡುದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ನಿಮಗೆ ಕ್ವಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಕನ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಒಪ್ಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ಫ್ರಾಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಫ್ರಾಡ್ ಮಿಸ್ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕನ್ಸೀಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಕನ್ಸೀಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ನಾನು Uh, i am not uh, defining the section 17 of uh, indian contract act fraud ili uh, egerty was a shine uh, uh, very interesting case uh, to uh, a, a girl and a boy of course major they are lovers and one find they had a, a sexual relation the uh, sexual uh, act and uh, lady gave a voluntary consent for the sex 
but at that at the time of having sex uh, shine he was suffering from venereal diseases say so that was not disclosed by the person so the it, it was infected to her girlfriend and she was very angry and dragged him to the court of law and claiming that say infecting disease is equivalent to a blow and the she has argued before the court but he took a defense that she has given a voluntary consent she know the nature of fact and the consequence and everything and she gave a voluntary consent hence uh, i am not responsible and the it is this was a argument of course but the court said court uh, asked a question then the are you a wedded couple they are not wedded couple they are friends lovers for example say when they are not wedded couple the relationship becomes immoral that's why you come across this particular maxim selpa ella students were you must be thorough with latin maxims latin maxims so in the examination you have to write the case the maxims everything latin maxims yaar bari taro say that definitely you fetch a fetch more marks nodi egati shine ga yen apply agutha exterpi causa non arbitrary ratio exterpi causa non arbitrary ratio from immoral cause no action arises so the society never never recognizes immoral relations even the law society means the law i'm saying that never never recognizes uh, this one bidi nan innu bere kade interpretation madakogala yakandre the two adults had a sex say it was not a rape adu igella present interpretation actually illi because he has infected the disease that is considered as an equivalent to a blow and that's why she went to the court and uh, demanded of course okay one that is one again r versus williams very famous case you know very well you will study even in indian penal code i think i think williams as you as you are aware uh, was a lakshman please why yes lakshman please mut mat kali uh he actually a teacher williams actually is a music teacher conducting music classes one 16 year old girl i was also you know taking lessons from williams learning mu- this uh, music no sangeeta kalita artha alavave but her voice was so hard and that's why she was not happy uh, from her voice with her voice i'm saying that and uh, he en- she inquired with uh, teacher teacher i have so much interest but my voice is a little bit masculine or very hard the williams music teacher said you have to undergo yeah, an operation she was happy and agreed he said, okay okay i will i will undergo an operation but he took her to a room and committed a rape and while committing a rape while having sex he made a statement that this is an operation to improve your voice okay fine she fine she actually uh, not able to understand the nature of fact and the consequence she thought that it was an operation she gave cons- she was not protested she gave consent a minor girl and later she went to home and narrated everything to the mother so mother t- took her to a station and gave a complaint a criminal complaint for rape it is a clear case prima facie case of that william c music teacher contended before the court that uh, she gave a voluntary consent so by misrepresenting the fact actually you took the consent and and she was also a minor and hence he was convicted for rape egerty versus shine alen helidru are you wedded couple the same problem r versus clarence nodi r andaga criminal case r william r versus williams criminal case r versus clarence criminal case rex ante heltive rex andre the king or the crown antara prashna so here uh, an husband actually suffered suf- suffering from venereal disease he had a sex with wife 
and wife gave a consent and it is quite natural it is a, it is something between husband and the wife quite natural and she gave a consent but the husband infected uh, the wife from this venereal diseases and she was also very angry uh, and uh, gave a complaint criminal complaint see har versus clarence criminal case now what exactly the civil case and the criminal case there are some differences how a consent actually play a role significance of consent in under criminal law ekandre egati was shinally fraud actually but immoral relation if 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 it is a civil case and they were husband and wife then there would have been any remedy of course but they both are lovers no remedy because immoral relation r versus clarence it is a criminal criminal case but husband and wife so criminal uh, consent say in criminal cases under criminal law fraud vitiates consent if it induces mistake as to the real nature of the act done mistake ana padanu tartta idare illi and also the wife's consent hangagi illi again uh, they said voluntary not fit injury and no remedy for the wife she was criminal case akomatti or she was very angry of course but criminal case agiradare nodi the fraud vitiates consent if it induces by mistake as to the real nature of act and the ratio is well aware of nature of act and the consequence and is a natural phenomena but at the same time as i said in the earlier case infecting anybody is equivalent to ebulo agara igella right of autonomy ella iradrinda right to privacy etc etc autonomy say you cannot misuse the the body of the wife property is not your property itarella bala interpretations ella bandide but all somehow no liability was fixed even though there was a uh, criminal case thomas is counter mine na theory again i am repeating because here nodi indian contract act alli to say when the consent said to be free anna prashne bandaga now tagalodu five elements tagotivi no i am using this compulsion ekandre the contractual relation employer and employee relation employee always works now in health will employment bandaga you have idu idhen fundamental right alla adre it is a human right ant helabodu and you have a right of choice right of choice andre you can choose any type of employment and you may give consent to work that illi has given a consent and he you know the risk everything and that's why they said voluntary not fit injury is written agreement between employer and employee like an appointment order kottidivi okay adakke avaru helidru voluntary not fit injury but suppose in if in indian scenario of course athwa any any scenario for that matter any country for that matter employee always try to protect his employment okay now whatever he demanded that is a different story because he want to fix the personal responsibility on the owner of the industry adu one kade ittana but the element of compulsion whether it has any significance in interpreting the contracts saying that it is not bilateral it was unilateral ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅವನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಲೇಬೇಕು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಕೆಲಸ ತಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಲೈಫ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಆಲ್ಟರ್ನೇಟಿವ್ ಏನು ಟು ಡೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅಲಿಗೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಸೇ ದೆಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲೀವ್ ದ ಜಾಬ್ ಆ ಕಂಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಸಿನಾರಿಯೋ ಅಂತ ಯಾಕೆ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ಅನ್ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಎವರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ the people one works and many people are considered as a dependent illi kelsa bidbekaag barutte hangagi he will lose the job that's why he was compelled to work under any situation whatever may be the degree of danger idana naavu adana interpret madak hogtivi this compulsion was element of compulsion was not recognized under indian contract act not even labor laws ನೀವು ಯಾವುದೇ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಗಳನ್ನ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪಲ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ರೈಟ್ ಟು ಏನು ವರ್ಕ್ 
or right to leave the work that's all he has that right also kelsa bidho hakku ide tagalo hakku ide hagagi avun ishta adu so for that uh, employer is not responsible but what we say that avunge compelled to work even though there is a danger annadha now interpret maartta idivi ashte innenilla so angagi compulsion annu avu tagonde barlilla yaduke contract act olagre next en helthivi andre mere knowledge does not imply concern ಅದು ಒಂದು ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ವಾಲಂಟಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಂಜ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ನ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ನೀವು ವಾಲಂಟಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಂಜರ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಬರೋದು ಹಾಲ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಬ್ರೂಕ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆಟೋ ರೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲಬ್ ಈ ಥರ ಕೆಲವು ಕೇಸ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲಿಯಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಆರ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಲಿಯಮ್ಸ್ ಬರೀಬೋದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಲಂಟಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಂಜ್ ಯೂರಿಯಾ one is knowledge annadana identify madbeku then knowing the risk as given a consent agreed you were to nodi bold madidena this agreed of course agree to suffer the risk when the when the defendant proves these two essential he can escape from the responsibility of course is always there smith versus baker dan versus hamilton slater versus clay cross company etc tumba idave hagagi smith versus baker alli no is a query he was appointed as a driller and over his head actually the crane traveling and carrying you know uh, stones from one place to another place knowing fully well the danger uh, and he was involved in drilling and one occasion the stone falls in him while stall wh- wh- sorry while stone falling on him the owner was very much present in front of him and he has not given any alarm that's why uh, there was a negligence on the part of the owner hence voluntary not fit injury has not applied in that case andre avunu echarike kodbekagittu edargade iddu kallu bilodana nodta idane yes he is witnessing the fall of a stone hagage he has not given warning at alarm and hence there was a responsibility friends imagine the absence of owner on the spot definitely voluntary not fit injury illi owner idru hagage negligence ant helibutvi so voluntary not fit injury is not applied so if the owner is absent owner was absent then no liability it is clearly it is a voluntary not fit injury another interesting case dan versus hamilton uh, a, a factory worker one day chose to travel in a car while she was hiring she came to know that he was a drunken driver knowing fully well is a drunken driver still chose to travel with him so on the way actually there was an accident and the driver died the woman also injured but in this case the lady filed a case against the legal representatives of the driver idu nodi ide beauty annada say illi uh, medical report was shown that the accident took place due to negligence of the driver not due to intoxication intoxication was very less he has a capacity to drive he was able to drive the vehicle but because of neg- carelessness the accident was took place so when they said negligence uh, voluntary not fit injury is not applicable hence dan entitled to claim compensation nivu ellaru artha madkobekare do what you have to understand that it is a mistake on the part of an advocate who argued on behalf of legal representatives of the driver why he has not pleaded the contributory negligence initially she came to know that he was a drunken driver still choose to travel with him she took the risk and helenala take care first yourself and then blame others it is in this case dan committed the wrong first carelessness towards herself but there may be a mistake on the part of the lawyer so has not pleaded contributory negligence and the court gave a decision in favor of lady and uh, liability was fixed ekandre negligence anta clear ag gotaitala so slater versus clay cross was also uh, there are people who are using the tunnel the railway department actually issued a circular to all the drivers whenever you approach the tunnel you slow down or give a whistle because people were crossing uh, through uh, you know a tunnel railway tunnel they are using the tunnel it is aware of uh, this one. 
So against the instruction of this circular, a driver of a uh, train not stopped, not slowed down the train, not even whistled, simply uh, entered the tunnel without this. So there was already a slater, a lady was inside the tunnel, crossing the tunnel. So she was injured uh, after that. She filed a case. They said there is a clear case of negligence on the part of railway department, Clay Cross Company Limited, rail, rail, rail department, because say they gave a clear instruction to all the drivers in defense of this, you know, circular. Say he has entered without slowing down or uh, whistling that. Uh, hence, there was a negligence and liability. Voluntary not foot injury is not applicable. Okay. Uh, normally, students in Martha Rendre, voluntary not foot injury, Andre, directly they write Haynes versus Harwood. Only limitations are there. Two limitations means, limitation means where voluntary not foot injury is not applicable. Not applicable. One do rescue cases. Second one, unfair contract terms at 1977, the past in England, of course. Adhan refer Marthi Devi. Rescue cases, and you know, I voluntarily always come forward to save people. Suppose a child drawn, a person drowning actually, or there was an accident and I am that, or anything, wherever the people are in danger, say we always uh, rush towards them or try to help them voluntarily. There is no compulsion, I'm saying that. You are saying. The person who negligently created a dangerous situation. Apaya the Parasthiti and Natandita Vekti Oba. Otherly victim Agwanta Vekti Oba. On a plaintiff and karitira. In a defendant. Ega risker Kapadono. Aun Bartana is voluntarily comes to the rescue of the uh, you know victim. Aga if the rescuer suffers any injury or something da something damage or something injury in Tankarna. So then the rescuer can claim compensation uh, against the person who created dangerous circumstances. Apayavana Tandita Vekti Viruddha Dhawana Woodbodo where the voluntary not foot injury is not applicable. Voluntary not foot injury is not applicable, of course. That's the first limitation in the Gondi Valley, rescue cases. That's a very famous case in the Haynes versus Harwood. Very famous case. Nodi Lena Gathe, defendant's drivers took the horse wagon uh, to a market and unattended near the market. And the market goes to Ali Munde Garden Nilis Puto. Marketing Oktare. They went for, they went to market. And here some children were playing nearby horse wagon. Some children, mischievous, they threw stone against the horses. The horses bolted, bolted and thundre, started running violently. No one was there to control the horses. The women and children aged over around the market yard were in danger. There was a police station nearby. The policeman saw this particular scene, immediately rushed to the spot and tried to control the horse wagon because they are running violently. He has tried his best and con controlled, but while doing so, he was injured. Yaro, policeman. So now he filed a case against the defendants for negligently unattending the horse wagon near the market yard. Bit put over there, that's why they have a case. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, defendants took an argument that we are not responsible, we are not negligent because it happened due to mischievous act of the children. Hence, we are not responsible. The judge asked a simple question. Why children threw stone? This was a question. And immediately, no answer. They said uh, children were known for mischievous. There was no one was there to take care of the horses. That's why children threw stone. 
ಯಾರು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಕುದುರೆ ಗಾಡಿನ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕಲ್ಲು ಹೊಡೆದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮ್ ತರ್ತಾರೆ ನೋ ವಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೀನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೀನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕೆ ಲಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹೇನ್ ಸುಸು ಸಾರ್ವುಡ್ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಾಲಂಟಿನ್ ಆರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಗೇನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋ ವಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೀನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಸೊ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ವರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನೋ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವೀನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನದು ನ್ಯೂ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಯಾವುದು ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಚೀವಿಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ದೆ ಥ್ರೂ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಎಗೇನೆಸ್ ದಿ ಹಾರ್ಸಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಮಿಸ್ಚೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇದು ಬಟ್ ದ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಟ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ನೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಚೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಚೀವಿಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಥ್ರೂ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅನ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೆಡ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಗನ್ ಓಕೆ ದೀಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಲಂಟಿ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಮನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈ ಡಿಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ನವನು ಅವನ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದಾನೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇದೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಲೀಗಲ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಅದರಿಂದ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಸೇವ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಂತ ಸೆ ದೆನ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ದೇ ಸೆಟ್ ನೋ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಮೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡಿನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಟೈಟಲ್ಡ್ ಟು ರಿಸೀವ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಸೆ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಎ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ದಿ suppose a third person civil man was uh, interfered and that then you would have you would have accepted the responsibility now the public person public authority i'm saying the policeman he did his job and hence uh, we are not responsible that stand we cannot take he is also he was also an individual and he also uh, took the risk and save the people women and children who were in the yard ಅಂದಾಗಿ ರಿಸ್ಕು ಕೇಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ವಾಲಂಟಿ ನಾಟ್ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕಬಲ್ ಓಕೆ ವ್ಯಾಗ್ನೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರೈಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವೈಲ್ ಟ್ರಾವೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಟೂ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದೆ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಟ್ ಟಿ ಸಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಟಿ ಸಿ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸೆಂಜರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೋನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟು ಏನು ಸರ್ಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ he where he was standing he is not aware because too dark he was standing on the bridge and he fell from the bridge and is injured and that's why court said he has created a very dangerous circumstances wagner is entitled to uh, recover the compensation for his injuries that is wagner versus international railways okay the second uh, limitation was unfair contract terms act 1977 friends wherever unfair contract terms and reasonable conditions are there a uh, one example suppose there was a condition that in case of breach of contract you not supposed to file a case against me for breach of contract and the condition idre that is unfair contract unreasonable interest or unreasonable demands are there the court will not entertain the in every case the court's duty is to see whether the contract entered between the parties is reasonable in accordance with the law and also the conditions what both are agreed whether it is reasonable or not if it is if the conditions are unreasonable definitely the courts will struck down they said void contracts void contracts so that's why uh, and also you you have no right to take away my right to sue
there may be a consensus among the members and that consent uh, not valid and also say they are wrongdoers they are wrongdoers again i'm repeating extrapy cause and non auditor ratio from immoral cause no action arises so that's why uh, the plaintiff who whenever he involves or contributes negligence and gave a consent for illegal or immoral purpose no liability defendant can take the defense okay the second bring uh, second springen case abard versus albrook in the abard versus albrook say uh, he was actually installed a spring gun statutorily it was um, uh, allowed actually uh, rubber bullets actually it fires whoever enters the land and it causes injury uh, sometimes death wound also uh, after 1950 i think i don't know after some time uh, after seeing some of the deaths uh, the uh, the uk government withdraws this particular you know installation of uh, spring gun for the protection of the land okay borders is albrook lane agate albrook actually installed a spring gun but fails to fix the notice board must i like this is the bird actually bird name of the person who enters because there is no board he is not aware of uh, the spring gun he has entered the land and suffered injuries from the you know spring gun which, which fired at him i thought okay fine but he filed a case against the owner uh, for negligence halbrook nodi ee point na hege thogutira gotilla nanige halbrook argued before the court that why should i owe duty towards the trespasser nodi bird innobra land hogidane is a trespasser is a wrong doer wrong doer plaintiff owner he actually is a, he was a person filed a case against the owner of the land plaintiff what he is committed he is a trespasser wrong doer owner halbrook was committed negligence because he has not fixed the notice board of the installation of the presence of spring gun okay, to bring awareness to the people so people say only halbrook the question is that why should i owe duty towards the trespasser i may be a wrong i have committed negligence okay i have not fixed the notice board but he is he was a stranger he has entered my land without consent the trespasser i was no duty towards the trespasser this is argument made by the halbrook but the court said initial wrong committed by the owner because at the time of installing the spring gun it is your duty to fix the notice board it is occupier's liability act or whatever it is occupier's liability whatever you occupied it causes any injury to the people then hagagi you are committed a wrong first and bird or uh, bird actually committed wrong later it is committed a trespasser namge common law contributor negligence alle enu antandre common law violate adre andre whoever uh, committed by if the plaintiff commits a wrong wrong negligence or carelessness i'm saying that he will he will not be allowed to file a case under common law adre illi in 1828 alli but of course the courts uh, changed its all uh, decisions a decision in the sense uh, allowing the plaintiff even though he was a wrong doer his right to sue was not taken away common law dalle right to sue was taken away if he has, if the plaintiff committed a wrong and then our innond mathe heltirthive if you want to come to court come with a clean hand nine tapp maadi nine immoral illegal negligence etc etc so then you you are not entitled to come to court you are not coming with clean hand so don't do any wrong and come with a clean hand anta heltare but here bird actually is a trespasser trespasser went to the court hagagi alli still his right to sue was not taken away adanna what you have to appreciate that the courts alli en martare contributory negligence act ella pass madidare another chapter actually illi defendant gets the opportunity to plea before the court that the plaintiff was also a wrong doer come I mean, they strike the balance a contributory negligence act illi apportionment of you know a remedy ಈಗ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಅವ್ರು ಏನಾದರೂ ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಈಕ್ವಲಿ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಏನು ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಏನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಡಿಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾ
the according to the percent wise of negligence adana me, that will be measured by the court adanella maartaru the third is uh, general defense inevitable accident um, inevitable accident accident means unexpected as we are aware and saying that and um, illi onde one element enandre if the defendant has taken all reasonable care if the circumstances goes beyond his control then it is called inevitable accident whatever the damage or injury causes and for that defendant actually is not responsible yakandre he has taken all reasonable care so the entire law of torts say we have a standard of care enandre reasonable care because we are dealing with a reasonable man a prudent man prudent man hagagi only reasonable care is expected not extraordinary care not special care ordinary man has to take ordinary care that's exactly the point of course in the entire law of torts negligence chapter agirbodu athwa yavade chapter agirbodu whenever the question of care comes say we demand only reasonable care that is the standard of care recognized under law of torts okay idu accident agutte nanage ill point inevitable accident alli ಒಂದು ವೆದರ್ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಲಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಪೋವೆಲ್ ಹೋಮ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥರ್ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಕೆಂಡಾಲ್ ನೈಟ್ರೋಗ್ಲಿಜರಿನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ದರ್ ಇನ್ನ್ಯೂಮರಬಲ್ ಕೇಸಸ್ ನಾನು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾವ್ದನ್ನ ಬ್ರೌನ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಕೆಂಡಾಲ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಒಂದು ಕೇಸ್ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಏನಿದು a uh, dog fighting case anta adun barkoli ni barkteli dog fighting case brown versus kendal dog fighting case two neighbors both are having dog and like us actually the dogs are also fighting each other when the dogs were fighting each other the one owner came and tried to separate by hitting them by stick they at the same time another owner also came uh, owner of the dog also came behind he was standing behind but that was known to the, this person and he raised his uh, stick uh, to beat the dogs and uh, it causes injury to his eye but he blames him no yeah such cases also drag it to the court of law so sensitive englishman <laughs> he says that you are you are you are caused injury to my eye intentionally uh, there is an argument uh, but it was in, he is involved in separating the two fighting dogs and hence he was not aware that the other man was the my his neighbor was standing behind angagi it was simply considered as inevitable accident of course then mikku den madak hole yakandre ella course teachers heli irtare stanley versus powell worms as matter nitroglycerin uh, case adana it was important matra ide ad sumne adan matra ide act of god you are aware adar bage en maatada engila it speaks about the natural calamities nature is god actually whatever the uh, incident takes place or the occurrences takes place say which goes beyond human control the only the difference between the inevitable accident and act of god in inevitable accident there was a human intervention in act of god human intervention is impossible beyond human power uh, the natural calamity takes place adinella nev examples thagabodu earthquake tsunami um, or uh, you know tsunami and uh, volcano a tempest itara bekadashtu examples na flood flood actually so all these examples you can take of course and all natural calamities and where it is humanly impossible to prevent by the uh, ordinary man adu ondu concept adu hagagi amale iga now technology we have developed so much technology we can foresee the weather report and we can foresee many things things okay but it is impossible to prevent it what type of measures we can take is impossible to even to a government or anybody for that matter that's why it is beyond human uh, intervention beyond control and uh, it is not possible to prevent it hence hence it is simply considered as an act of god not defined as an extraordinary occurrence of circumstance which could not have been foreseen and which could not have been guarded against we can foresee in today of course the agate ನೋಡಿ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಮಳೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಫ್ಲಡ್ ಆದ್ರೂ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಕನು ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೇ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ
ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ರಿಸೋ ಫೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಮಿಟೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಅಕರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಂಟಿಸಿಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೀಸನಬಲಿ ಗಾರ್ಡೆಡ್ ಅಗೇನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಗಾರ್ಡ್ ತಡೆಯಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಅಷ್ಟೆ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ತಡೆಯಕ್ಕಾಗದ ಅಂತ ವಿಚಾರ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟಿವ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಟ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಅಕರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಅಕರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟಬಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಟಬಲ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ವೆದರ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಈ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಅವೇರ್ ದಟ್ ನಿಕೋಲ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಎರಡು ಕಡೆ ಬರೀತೀರಾ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರೀತೀರಾ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜನರಲ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀತೀರಾ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಎಗೇನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಿಕೋಲ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ರಿಸರ್ವಾಯರ್ ರಿಸರ್ವಾಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಹೆವಿ ರೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಹೆವಿ ರೈನ್ ಹೆವಿಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಬರೀಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಹೆವಿಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಹೆವಿ ರೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆವಿಯೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರೀಚ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಸರ್ವಾಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ರಶ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ವಾಶ್ ಅವೇ ದ ಪ್ಲೈಂಟಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬ್ರಿಡ್ಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಡಿಫೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಸರ್ವಾಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಲ್ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಕೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ to withstand the ordinary rain but it is an extraordinary heavy rain and that's why it is an act of god that was the plea made before the court court accepted uh, when the when the history was seen it was heaviest in the human memory and it is an extraordinary heavy rain hence it was considered as an act of god there is another case kallular versus em chand normally we gave this example there is a wall of a building collapsed because of 2.66 uh, mm rain say not able to withstand the ordinary rain and it, it clearly shows that there is a negligence on the part of the contractor okay so that's why a child the fall of wall uh, because of the ordinary rain um, a child died and hence the kallulal filed a case against the contractor and they said yes it was a negligence it is not an act of god male inda bidogide adrinda act of god antu heltare rain we are dividing into two ordinary rain extraordinary rain extraordinary rain can be considered as an act of god but you have to prove it is uh, extraordinary then ordinary rain like for example madikeri agumbe uh, there are many places where the heavy rain we see and chirapunji for example like that so you have to construct any structure which which can withstand that particular uh, rain actually adanella now nodkobekagiranta private defense direct ag heltine because you study you will study even in the criminal uh, ipc it was a right given to the plaintiff to take private defense he can take de- defense ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಲಾ ಪರ್ಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಏನು ಅಲೋ ಟು ಸೇ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇವಾಗ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಅಂದಾಗ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಕಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹೆಜೆಕ್ ದಮ್ ಯು ನೀ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಜುಡಿಷಿಯಲ್ ರೆಮಿಡೀಸ್ ಅಂತ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ one such remedy was considered as self defense or private defense nimma body na odeyak bandre you can run away running away from the scene also is a defense edarkand ododa anthe heltivalla namu edarkand enu hogbekagilla avano edar odu edarkand odudru adu
ದಿ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಏ ನಾಳೆ ನಿನ್ ಕೈಕಾಲ್ ಮುರಿತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ನು ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾನೆ ಇವತ್ತೇ ಹೋಗಿ ಅವ್ನ ಕೈಕಾಲ್ ಮುರಿದ್ ಬಿಟ್ರೆ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ನೋ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಮಿನಿಯಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೆಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಬರ್ಟ್ ಬೇಕಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಕ್ರೆಸ್ಟೋಲಸ್ ಸಿರಿಲ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏ ಕುರಿ ಕಾಯಿಸ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಾನ ಅವನು ಶೀಪ್ಸ್ ಇ ವಾಸ್ ಶಫರ್ಡ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸವರಲ್ ಶೀಪ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಎ ಡಾಗ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚೇಸಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಶೀಪ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಫರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಚ್ ದ ಡಾಗ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಈ ಟುಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಗನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈರ್ ಡೆಟ್ ದ ಡಾಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಾಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಈ ದೇ ಸೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡೇಂಜರ್ so that's why there's no other alternative to prevent it except firing at the dog anta heltare so that is called private defense but individual to individual when i say there must be imminent threat and danger and you are permitted to use reasonable force as a defense but not to kill not to cause um, you know grievous hurt or like that of course neeve odabodado jorage avan baida anta nee odiyodo that is an excessive force so excessive force not permitted under law actually okay now another thing is mistake mistake of fact and mistake of law adella helidare so mistake of law is no defense and mistake of fact actually defense okay that you have to prove before the court of law say ignorance of law not in criminal side only mistake of fact is a defense in criminal law in certain cases adanella helta hogtare gotaythu so ili only one case i will take that consolidated company versus cotis of course ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಷನಿಯರ್ ಹೂ ರಿಸೀವ್ಡ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸೇಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೆರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಓನರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಏನು ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಲ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಸೊ ಕೇಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಕನ್ಸಾಲ್ಟೇಟ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಕ್ಷನಿಯರ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಅದು one who auctions actually called auctioneer so auctioneer is held liable for the tort of conversion in this case yakandre they what they said was honestly i believe that the person who brought the property actually was a or a owner we presume we presumed that now how you come to conclusion what are the reasonable grounds to come to that could be written to conclusion honestly believed how do you interpret this honestly believed ಹೆಂಗ್ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ದೇವರಾಣೆನು ಹಂಗೆ ನಿಜವಾಗ್ಲೂ ನಂಬಿಟ್ಟು ದೇವರಾಣೆನು ನಮ್ದು ಏನೋ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಾ ಬಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹೌ ಯು ವೆರಿಫೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಓನರ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಓನರ್ ಅಥವಾ ರಿಯಲ್ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇದು ಮೋಬಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಬಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ failed miserably to prove that on what ground they honestly believed that he was the owner of the property but the same honest belief becomes a defense in sale of goods act honestly believed okay that's a defense angagi illi eradu bere bere irutte adu that depends upon the case actually so but in this case they were held responsible uh, because they are not able to you know uh, identify the original owner act necessity is also a defense general defense ili erade point an artha madkobeku ondu to prevent a greater damage you are permitted to commit any small mistakes triples anta heltare nodi nal bardidini triples anta the law does not take account of triples now remoteness of damage helbekadrnu now injury non remote cause as at proxima spectator it when it were infinite for the law to consider the causes of causes and and their impulsions one after another see injury non remote cause as at proxima spectator is a maxim latin maxim where we say that the the law will not consider the causes of causes remote uh, damages will not be considered is a defense remoteness of damage is a defense but necessity il bandaga suppose you have committed some small wrong to prevent greater uh, damage law permits law permits ili one the case barutte you know sorry is uh, you know nodi uh, throwing goods overboard a ship to lighten it for saving the ship or a persons ship hogbekare in its voyage merchant ship 
if there was a tempest or something where there is a danger so the captain of a ship can give order to throw all the goods into the sea because it lightens and the people who are there can be saved adana what we call that as adan barkoli devi telruve jettison jettison j a t t i s o n jettison jettison means it is an order of a captain uh, uh, at such situations to throw the goods putetala to into the ocean i'm saying that not in another example not pulling down a house to stop a further spread of fire to create a gap say you you are destroying the house which was not caught fire because to create a gap so you are saving many many houses so that's why without the consent of the owner you can you can destroy andre the people of that village or place can destroy ad aa tar agala igella but adana example kodta idare necessity ant heladaga ee tara situations may arise and you can take some course of action and where the depend the plaintiff cannot claim because necessity was a defense nodi maxim en ilide de minimis not curate lex yen bekadashtu maxims gal idave laugh tarts alli de minimis not curate lex but the law does not take account of trifles san san vicharagalna tagalala anna prashna the act of causing damage it come if, if if done under necessity ante helthar necessity ivaga a hunger striker actually you are forcefully feeded him hunger strike martta idane avange neevu juice kudisodo athwa inneno madodana madidri that was an, not an assault alva without consent ana on body na idkondu bai idkondu yenu avange juice kudisudre avanu he cannot blame but if he, even if he blames that's not a wrong suppose he fell unconscious after 3 days of hunger strike so he was admitted to the hospital and he was saved next day he cannot blame the person who uh, admitted you admitted that person to the court sorry hospital adan blame adanella now because of the necessity we do that of course statutory authority see see the law prescribes law prescribes the you know what to call uh, the uh, say andre authorities has to follow the letter of the law while doing the statutory functions uh, as a public authority uh, because they are following the law they are following the letter of the law hence uh, there is no uh, what you call uh, uh, liability now idina allik thagondobeka anta sovereign act and non sovereign act non sovereign act See, now, that's why now the mutta court, but now only see that public authorities who are following the letter of the law while performing their duties. If anything goes wrong and they were not responsible, only karta you know sovereign act, sovereign act, and that there is no responsibility. The very famous case Smith versus London and South Western Railway. It all go go through the chara. So 1870, a coal engine. and uh, there was a porter appointed to remove the grass near the track and they are not only removing the grass and he has to keep the grass away from the track okay you know what the over porter actually one porter was negligently left the heap of grass near the track after cutting it and went away after 3 days it was dried and a, a spark from the engine falls on that uh, dried uh, heap of grass and it caught fire and due to heavy wind it it traveled even up to 200 yards and there was a cottage which was burned down so the plaintiff brought an action against the london and south western railway for negligent act of the porter vicarious liability of that so illi neevu yaravaglu tarts alli answer maduvaga in this case for the first time the court applied the test of directness adun barkoli test of directness test of directness you know only one question they put you know what question whether defendant committed negligence or not committed the wrong or not tap madidana tap madidre liability fix maadi that's what happened in this case yakandre railway track in the 200 yards varge benki spread aagi alli you know the house caught fire anta andre not expected it's beyond one's anticipation actually ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ 
ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಅ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ನೀವೆಲ್ಲ ಪಟಾಕಿ ಹೊಡಿಯುವಾಗ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಡಿತೀರ ರೋಡಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊಡೆಯಲ್ವಾ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಮನೆ ಹತ್ರ ಹೊಡಿತೀವಿ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಿ ಡೂ ವಿ ಡೂ ರಾಕೆಟ್ ನ ನೆಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಿಡೋದು ಉಂಟು ಸೆಟ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನೆವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನ ಇದು ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ನೀವು ಯಾವುದು ರಿಮೋಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ರಿಮೋಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದರಲ್ಲೇ ರಿಮೋಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ನೀವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೀಸನಬಲ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಐಟ್ ಎರಡನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಇದು ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಇದನ್ನ ಮಿಕ್ಕದ ಯಾವ್ದು ಟಚ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಒಂದು ಬ್ರೀಫ್ ಆಗಿ ನಾನು ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ವಾಲಂಟಿ ನಾರ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಇಂಜ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಜಸ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಬರೀಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಇನ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಪ್ಲೈಂಟಿಫ್ ಡಿಫೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೈಂಟಿಫ್ ಇಂಜುರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಸಫರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಫೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಓನ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯಾರು ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಬ್ರಿಗೂ ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಇವಾಗ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಚುಲ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದು ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ನೋಡಿ ವಿನ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಈಗ ಮಾಡರ್ನ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ಏನು ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ನು ತಗೊಂಡ್ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗವರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಹಾಗೇನೆ ಸೊ ವೈಕೇರಿಯಸ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲಿ ಬಂದಾಗ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ರಾಂಗ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಇದನ್ನ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಬಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಬಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಬರ್ದು 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 ಅಭ್ಯಾಸಗಳು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರ್ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದ ರೀಸನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಸ್ ಲಯಾಬಿಲಿಟಿ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬಟ್ ಆರಿಜಿನ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮ್ಸ್ ಸೇ was responsible for the development of uh, concept of vicarious liability q faced per realm faced per se he who does not act through another deemed in law to do it himself idu nodi slide na deemed in law to do it himself bere evara mukantara kelasavanna maadisikondaru kanunina prakara avane maadida hage bere mukantara kelasa maadisidruve ನೀನೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಹಿ ಹೂ ಡಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅನದರ್ ಡೀಮ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಲಾ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪರ್ ಎಲ್ ಎಂ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪರ್ ಸೇ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಎರಡನೇ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡೆಟ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಾಲ್ ಬಿ ಲಯಬಲ್ ಸಿ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಲ್
ವೈಕೇರಿಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬ್ರೆಟರಿ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರಫ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಹಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಲೇಬರಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಬಾಂಡೆಡ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ವಿ ಹವ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಲೆಜಿಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ನವೇ ಡೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ನಮ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಎಲ್ಲಾನು ಮಾಡಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಕೆಲವು ಕೆಲವರು ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಸೇ ಡೊಮೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಂದ ಹಿಡಿದು ಇಂಡಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಗವರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಈಗ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟೂ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೂವ್ಡ್ ಏನು ಟೂ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದ ರಾಂಗ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೇಕು ಅವನು ಕೃತ್ಯ ಮಾಡಿರ್ಬೇಕು ನಾವು ದ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಕಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದ ಟಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನಾವೇನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅರ್ಥ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಕಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ ಆರ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಅಷ್ಟನ್ನ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಅ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಸೇ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ರೆಫರ್ ಯು ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೂ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ನೀವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ವರ್ಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಏನೇನೋ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ನೆಲ್ಲ ಕೊಡ್ಬೋದು ಆದ್ರೆ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ವೈಕೇರಿಸ್ ಲಯಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ರಿಲೇಷನ್ಶಿಪ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅಂತಾನೆ ಅನ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಆ ಕ್ಯಾಟಗರಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಏನು ಕಾಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಹಳ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಏನಂದ್ರೆ whether he is a master or not ant helbekadre so one test is required yavudadu control test ant helthu control test means what it what do you mean by control it's a control with the master actually he he controls the you know work he instructs the work everything ee tara maartare hangagi there are two things to understand uh, to understand what is control athwa control test yenandre the master requires the servant you know what is to be done control denotes two things alva one you know what is to be done yen kelsa maadbeku anta one helbeku yernedu how it shall be done hege maadbeku annadana avanu helbeku avanu hangagi control test is very very important control means denotes two things uh, what is to be done andre master prescribes the job number 1 how it shall be done it speaks about the manner of doing work manner of doing work of course illi kelavu interpretations ella baruthe adanella nanu tagalakovala nan illi i will come to this particular point lord thankerton ene heltane andre how to determine the relationship of master and servant anna prashne bandaga there are four important essentials uh, he prescribes the one is master's power of selection andre power of appointment number 2 payment of wages and other remunerations payment power to pay salary number 3 master's right to control the method of doing work andre the manner of doing work na velidvala control alli what is to be done power of appointment
he continuously performs he is an integral part of the master's business but independent contractor andre so not at all he is only appointed for some specific purpose ega you took a auto to a railway station auto driver is an independent contractor you appointed a con independent contractor to construct a building as soon as the construction of a building is over and um, the the contractual relation ceases he is not an integral part of course so he works so many years lord mckenna he also gave some points same what lord thankerton told the same things actually he is told yena do the master appoints a servant to do work uh, is work for the remuneration uh, and servants work in such a manner that the other person can be identified as a master andre power to control the manner of doing work power to prescribe the job other not now fourth one all the essentials of the contract should be fulfilled yake lord mckenna was sulpa cautious andre any contract which is illegal and immoral extra pay cause or non auditor ratio cannot be entertained it a law will not recognize adrinda even master and servant relationship should be moral legal gotaita alva hangagi adana avaru essentials of the contract should be fulfilled ant heltare so these people all the three are really lord thankerton lord denning and lord mckenna all the three they gave they gave you know what do you call what do you say that how to determine the relationship of a master and servant okay so uh for, for we have to write contract of service contract for service and control test lord thankerton uh, essentials lord denning and lord mckenna you moor barebeku yakandre kannada medium odo maklu ah vicarious liability chapter na tagud nodadaga id yavde points gal iralla adangagi kannada medium maklu you have to incorporate uh, certain points from uh, english book actually aitala <coughs> uh madam uh, uh, i was a people are there if they agree i can take another five minutes yes sir yes sir yes sir you yeah, know in 10 minutes you can continue sir no problem okay okay okay, okay. the second essential what i have to explain is within the course of, what is the course of employment i already told that he must be a servant and it must be within the course of employment if it is within the course of employment the say the master is absolutely responsible of course so that is exactly what goel good to do uh, in this particular sections higa we we got some guideline from lord thankerton denning and mckenna uh, how to determine the relationship of a master and servant but as far as the second essential is concerned uh, the courts never never gave a guideline and we have to go by each case and each circumstances we have to determine whether the wrongful act of the servant comes within the course of employment or falls outside the course of employment okay let us see now uh, when when actually it comes within the course of employment antandre when the master expressly or impliedly authorized authorized servant okay athwa second one it is a unauthorized manner of doing something which is authorized whether or some incidental uh things actually incidental antandre ev for example railway iga emission of spark and vibration sound etc etc it is all incidental or accidents are incidental itharala aagtirutte you have adventure tagothira ya venture whatever you venture i'm saying that the incidental damages will be always there iga if you take a vehicle accident is obvious any day any time it may happen unexpected things and obviously when on the road anything may happen anything may happen so that's why uh, say uh, the wrongful act should comes within the course of employment malika avunge helirbeku ernedu kelsa maado reethi bage helirbeku mathwa swabhavikavagi aguvanta tondragal agirbodu gothaitalva hangagi adanna navu ee moor guideline mele navu adanna helta hogtivi the first circumstance carelessness negligence idr bage ent helle bekagilla so suppose the servant is negligent and master is responsible only thing is while committing the negligence whether it is within the course of employment or not ivre heltare andre if the employee works within the premises of the master idella prashne barada illa when he go outside he may go for entertainment excursion etc for his own benefit that's why if there is a deviation of the journey then uh, whether it is negligent or not ante bank go go ant helirtivi market ko hogtane cinema go hogtane inella ho go ant helirtivi bere kade ho hogtane avange ello vehicle kotirtivi he takes his family to a uh, you know 
some cinema like that for entered for picnic for example say he say when 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 authorized to do work he cannot deviate from that deviation is entirely for his own benefit for servants benefit then master is not responsible illo sanpa adanna helta hogtirtivi negligence bandaga entirely a new journey master is not responsible but incident hotel hogtane eno problem agutte bank hogaga inello hogtane on sanpa problem agutte illa bank ku bandidini ille pakkadalli eno kelsa maadana anta hogtane a slight journey slight deviation permitted up say that but not entirely a new journey ಈಗ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಹೋಗೋ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮನೆಗ್ ವಾಪಸ್ ಬರೋದೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅವನೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗಿರ್ತಾನೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ಲಿ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಜರ್ನಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಕೋಲ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಇದೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಏಡ್ ಅಟೆಂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಕಲರಿ ಕಲರಿ ಈ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ವೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಿಸಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ಅನ್ ಆಫೀಸ್ ಟು ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇಜಸ್ ಅವನು ಇನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಹೋಗ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಈಗ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಹೋಗ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟ್ಲಿಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಹೋಗಿರ್ಬೋದೇನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಹಾರ್ವೆ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಓ ಡೆಲ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಮಿಸಸ್ ಹೂ ಡ್ರೈವ್ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ ಮಿಡ್ ಡೇ ಮೀಲ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಡಿವಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಅದು ಏನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿ ಸ್ಮಿತ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ವೇರ್ ದ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಸೈಟ್ ಎ ಬಟ್ ವರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಅನ್ ಅರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಅಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅದನ್ನ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜರ್ ಅಂತ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಈ ತರ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ಗೋಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇದೊಂದು ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇದು ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪನಿ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ನಾರ್ದರ್ನ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೋಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ನನಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಈ ಕೇಸ್ ನ ಬರೀಬೇಕು ನೀವು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಇನ್ನೇನಿಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಎ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಲಾರಿ ವೈಲ್ ಅನ್ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡ್ರೈವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಲಾರಿ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೈಟೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಗರೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ ವೈಲ್ ಅನ್ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ನೋ ಸ್ಮೋಕಿಂಗ್ ಝೋನ್ Uh, why because the petrol vapors will be there loading and unloading uh, at the time low uh, petrol vapors will be there that's why even a spark is enough to caught fire that's why there is a no smoking zone whoever smokes or whoever even use of mobile was not permitted because of radiations it may caught fire of course you have seen many incidents so here also he did that he uh, struck a match and uh, lighted a cigarette being a, a driver of a petrol lorry he knows the characteristic of the petrol okay but the argument before the the entire entire uh, petrol bank burned down um, there is a big big conflagration but here there is a conflict between the insurance company and the northern ireland road transport who were supplying petrol gotaydara yen antandre insurance company i will not pay uh, insurance money because ಅದು ಇನ್ಶೂರ್ಡ್ ತಾನೆ ಫೈರ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ದೇ ಸೈಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪೇ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪೇ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಎವರ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಪೇ ನಾರ್ದರ್ನ್ ಐಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೋಡ್ ಸೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಗ್ಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಪೇ ದ ಕಾಂಪನ್ಸೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪೆಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಸೆ ಬಟ್ ದೇ 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 ಇಂಟರ್ಪ್ರಿಟೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸಿಗರೆ ಸಾರಿ ಸ್ಮೋಕಿಂಗ್ ಸಿಗರೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನೋಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ and unknowingly he did it actually it is because of the habitual uh, you know and not intentionally he did it because he is a lo- he is a driver of a petrol lorry hence intentionally it was not done see that's exactly the argument uh, but the court said it was a no
the porter came and inquired about that and he, he said i am going to macclesfield but the porter himself mistakenly thought that the train was going elsewhere that's why he was dragged out of uh, out of the train along with his belongings say this was the rude behavior and mistake and hence the for mistake also um uh, the 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 uh, the railway department was held responsible of course putaitala adane helta hogtivi poland poland versus parents and say andre a a wagon was the the defendants were taking the sugar uh, bags uh, on their uh, horse wagon a, a boy actually a minor boy coming behind after some time again he saw that boy still coming behind that the uh, the uh, the driver the defendant thought that he was stealing the sugar but actually he was not stealing the sugar he, uh, the the horse wagon was stopped uh, and that cart was stopped and he came back and gave a blow on the on the neck of uh, the, the boy boy fell down immediately the wheel of that wagon was also ran over his leg caused injury say in while protecting the property of the owner uh he did he tried to protect uh, the property that's why uh, he was not negligent and they are but he mistakenly thought that he was stealing but actually he was not stealing the the minor boy was not stealing the sugar say that's exactly happened and said again uh, employers were held liable because the blow given by the carter say although somewhat excessive was not sufficiently so to make it outside the scope of employment that comes within the course of employment illi yaro ilki vs samuel alli is permitted the stranger to drive his lorry nan helide nanu nimge when the when the servant is driving the vehicle any vehicle for that matter he is not supposed to allow the strangers to travel or even to allow them to drive the master's vehicle illi madidane adrinda it was negligent third category was willful wrong so even though we have given instruction what to be done how it shall be done some some servants you know they are over enthusiastic and no, most negligent servants are there one such person is he is not following the instruction of the master very important cases limpus versus london general omnibus ivella important cases so barebeku nodi they are running so many omnibuses and the owner actually issued a circular uh issued two copies of circular one for the driver and another should be pasted before his uh, driver seat uh, in front of driver seat that while driving the buses so many buses he is not supposed to race with other vehicles and not to obstruct other vehicles ee tara circular nu hakirtare eradu eradu circular ondu avunu ittukobeku innondu seat munde paste madbeku but illi obba en martane against the instruction of the circular he obstructed the other vehicle and caused an accident responsible for the accident aduke avaga the persons who are injured file a case and they said uh, it is outside the course of employment because uh, we already given a written circular to all the drivers to follow it and when they are not following it is outside the course of employment but the court said you first one you ask her to drive while driving you have to take care while driving adrinda you have allowed them to drive the vehicle so from the driving the vehicle say running the omni buses you will get the benefit so you are the beneficiary or the owner is actually beneficiary because you are receiving the benefit and you are responsible so it is only a manner of doing work was deviated hence the master was held responsible ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಸಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಕೇಟರ್ ಮೋಲ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅವನು ಈ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಗ್ಯಾರೇಜ್ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಮೂವ್ ದ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಬೈ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ಡ್ರೈವ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಅವನು ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಸೊ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಅವನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಒನ್ ಡೇ ಈ ಡ್ರೋವ್ ಎ ವೆಹಿಕಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಎಗೈನ್ ವಿಲ್ಫುಲ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಅದು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡ ಅಂದದನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವಾಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬರಬಹುದು ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ ಬರ್ತಾನೆ ರೋಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಂಟಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವೈಲ್ Uh, distributing the milk he was not supposed to appoint a minor boys for his help and that was the instruction given by the master but he appoints a 13 year old boy and there was an accident and uh, there was an injury the plaintiff was injured when he was filed case uh, he is deviated from the owner's instruction avaru helidro while distributing the milk milk distribute madadu kelsa adare maduvaga you should not take the help of others including 
ಮೈನರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಟುಕ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಬಾಯ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ದೋ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಈ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಈ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆನ್ ಬಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೊ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ನ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಇದು ಆದಂತಹದ್ದು ಅಂತ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಥೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೋರಿಸ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಮಾರ್ಟಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಥೆಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ರೈಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೌ ಡ್ಯೂ ಹೌ ಡ್ಯೂ ಹೌ ಡ್ಯೂ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಬಟ್ ಇದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಬೇಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಏನು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮೋರಿಸ್ ಎ ಲೇಡಿ ಹು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಎ ಫರ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಶಿ ಗೇವ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಎ ಡ್ರೈ ಕ್ಲೀನರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಕ್ಲೀನರ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರೈ ಕ್ಲೀನರ್ಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಮಾರ್ಟಿನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಅವ್ರು ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಶಿ ಗೇವ್ ಎ ಏನು ಫರ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರೈ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ but uh, the owner uh, the owner of uh, the dry cleaner dry cleaners they handed over it to a servant to clean to dry andre to wash this um, uh, fur coat and instead of washing it he committed a theft thagond hodanu avanu wash madlilla morris filed a case against uh, dry cleaners sir received by martin and sons for the theft committed by their servant why is liability ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಾಗಿರೋದು ಅವನು ಮಾಡೋದು ತೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸರಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಓನರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಅದು ಬೇರೆ ವಿಚಾರ ಬಟ್ ಮೋರಿಸ್ ವಿಚಾರ ಬಂದಾಗ ಫರ್ ಕೋಟ್ ಆಂಡೆಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಟಿನ್ ಸನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೇಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಏನು ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಟೆಂಪ್ರರಿ ಪೊಸೆಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇವಾಗ ಸ್ಕೂಟರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಟರ್ ನ ರಿಪೇರಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀರಾ ರಿಪೇರಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೊಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅವನು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಹಾಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅವನು ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದಿ uh you know for court back mm-hmm. but they said okay no adu uh, esk uh, again within the course of employment because they the owners handed over the for court to the servant servant is duty to clean it and hand over to the owner uh, so morris was entitled to recover the compensation last one fraud of a servant fraud under in section 17 no you know the what is fraud of course lloyd versus gray smith and company id company la adalo othira illu othira lloyd case you know lloyd is a lady who is having several cottages villas very old villas not getting a handsome uh, income from that that's why she decided uh, she wants some uh, legal opinion what to do about the uh, these properties she went to gray smith and company a solicitor company and she went and inquired a manager of a company uh, yeah, welcomed her inquired about her problem and <clears throat> suggested say these properties you can dispose it and for that we will going to help you so they took her consent sorry signature uh, <clears throat> she also agreed for the you know what um, the sale of uh, the old properties villas after some time when she came back and inquired it was not sale deed it was not something else it was a gift deed drafted by the manager uh, in favor of himself and uh, stating that the lady voluntarily gifted away the property to the manager of grace smith and company she was shocked and uh, filed a case against the company for fraud here being a manager of the grace smith company uh, he committed a fraud he committed a fraud lloyd know nothing about him he was a stranger he is only a employee of the gray smith and company if a employee commits a fraud then presumption that you <coughs> gray smith company actually committed a fraud so while acting as a manager of the company they, he did this that's why it comes within the <coughs> course of employment so adana na heltivi so these are the five different circumstances we are giving carelessness mistake willful wrong theft fraud these different five circumstances in all five different circumstances we are trying to bring the wrongful act of the servant within the course of employment okay so master responsible in these circumstances so two essential should be fulfilled he must be a servant it must come within the course of employment so a determination lord thankerton mckenna and uh, denning you have to follow and then here these five different circumstances and one one case is enough to substantiate your answer so that's why i gave these examples madam thank you adu mukside ivaga second 
uh, you know what do you call um, okay sir thank you so much sir uh, one one you. unit full mugit actually adey adey sir ha unit uh, mugit one sir uh, next, next uh, negligence third unit uh, third unit ke naale yes sir yes sir yes sir uh, and uh, some uh, questions are there in the chat irli 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 keli keli kela obru anirudh rao anta nam college student uh, so his question is uh, he owns a pet dog and he uh. lives in an apartment building Okay. So, housing society policy on a pet and its subsequent liability is not clear in case of some injury to another co-resident or a third person. So, okay. take for example, delivery boys or a postman. Uh, okay. So, if uh, by his dog in a common areas of the apartment campus. So, what are his liabilities or defenses available to him? And do I? Uh, he says that he asked that. Did, uh, does he uh, have to hang a notice board outside his flat providing the disclaimer iga one normally iga iga new liability for animals anta bandaga domestic animal and wild animals anta divide martivi alli we we bring actually scienter rule scienter rule andre when you when you are having a dog the first thing you must aware of whether this is ferocious whether previously it is bitten to everybody anybody i'm saying that what sort of danger you are coming across whether it's vicious nature adu ashtu normally kelu pet dogs only barks never bites but even we are fear of barking dogs also but the first duty is that you has to put a board beware of dog dog is there alva adanna hakbek avaru gothaitala amele if it is ferocious he has to keep intact adanna katta hakbeku so where is the question of danger alwa idella madidre matra adike scienter rule is applicable of course so when you are owning a dog you have to take all responsibility because the gas cylinder supplier meter reader paper agent and milkman there are me many people come to your doorstep actually because you are given a consent you are given a consent to enter your premises gotaitala hangagi if the, if your dog is dangerous then you cannot leave it of course uh, it is occupier's liability occupier's liability aithalla hangagi new you have to substantiate adike scienter rule apply martivi but uh, what nanage uh, innond enu antandre city galalli what is actually the corporate corporation directions actually avaru stray dogs na thagond hogtare not pet dogs alva hangagi pet dogs sitto gantkondoru neevu you are equally res andre personally responsible for this but you have to take before that inna na helide heli madam inna naru doubt idra sundar raj anor yaro hand raise madidare sundar raj do you have any questions sundar raj sir i have a question sir yes sir please sir please iga pakkad flat alli nai there is a dog okay Uh, when i talk about uh, this dog is disturbing someone people some people say hey naithane nay bagade bere yaru bodutare bidu anta andre nuisance nuisance but nuisance uh. yes it is uh, it is common that the dog bites when some something something different happens or some unknown okay ivaga nan helidnala adu apply agutte center rule apply agutte liability baruthe bite aadre continuous bagutta irutte continuous ratri full bagutta irutte adana na can we take it as a natural cause or should we disturb the owner adu very near what is the distance between your flat and pakkade ankoli sir pakkade andre nimge is it really inconvenience because you yakandre heltin nimge new sense al bandaga right to health is very important nimge new sense al barodu right to comfort health gotaitala you may not get good sleep sound sleep especially i am saying that ಅಲ್ವಾ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಇವಾಗ ಏನೋ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಂದಿರ್ತೀರ ಇದೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಬಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೆ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ವಾರ್ನ್ ದ ಓನರ್ ಓನರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕಂದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿಮ್ ಒಬ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಲ್ವಲ್ಲ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಬೈ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಇದು ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಬಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಕೆಲಗ ಯಾಕೆ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಹೋಗಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವಿ ಇಗ್ನೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಓನರು ನಾಯ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ಯಾರಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಓಕೆ ಫೈನ್ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಲವ್ 
ದಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಏನೋ ಒಂಥರ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಮನೇಲೂ ಇದೆ ಹಾಲಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂತ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇವಾಗ ನೀನ್ ಏನೇನಾದ್ರು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನ ಪಾಠ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಕೇಳಕೋ ಆಗ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದೇ ನಾವ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಕವರ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದು ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೀವು ಅವನ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ನೀವು ಯಾಕೆ ವೈ ಅಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸಮ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೈ ಎಟ್ ಬಾರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ಲಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಈವನ್ ನೈಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಯಾರು ಓನರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಾಗ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಹೇಳಿ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ನಾಟ್ 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 ಎ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಅಮ್ಸ ಇಂದ ತಪ್ಪೇನಿಲ್ಲ ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಾಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಡಾಗ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂತ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಬೇರೆ ಕಡೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾರು ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಬಿಡದ ಕಡೆಗೆ ಹಂಗಲ್ಲ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮೇಡಮ್ ನಾನು ಇವರು ಇವರು ಕಾರ್ಪೊರೇಷನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೇಂಟ್ ಕೊಡಬಹುದು ಬೇಕಾರೆ ಒಬ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ರು ಸೇರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕೊಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಡೋದು ಸಪೋಸ್ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಅಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಎ ಎಂ and reaches the office at 10 am in between right, 9:30 it anything happens whether it is within the course of employment and one the one example kodtivi alli heluvaga en heltivi andre the argument of the employee enu andre i am started my journey towards my office and intention to provide my skill to the master and i am moving i am i am i am my journey is for the benefit of the master my journey yes. should be considered as within the course of employment sir doctrine right. of notional extension and labor extension labor, 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 labor uh, law uh, you will go into uh, study compensation work, uh, work man adana, compensation doctrine of notional adana, extension ah uh, yes. adu beauty beauty okay nee yavud kelbeku gotta sir after 5 o'clock adre en madabu adu adu kelthide sir nanage belike helidre After After leaving, the pre- leaving the premises, our argument is that I am going towards my home to take mm-hmm. rest and regain my energy and again I want to provide my skill for the master. So right, that's sir. why you should consider my journey again from master's premises to my home as within right, the sir. course of employment and the interpretation. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> so one thing, one thing, one thing, as a right, lawyer, new law students again. any case yakandre any case come to the court of law everything based on the facts of the case right facts of the case any slight deviation is yes, a sir. different uh, every decision. case is different different actually okay heli right. heli sir heli with regard to animal iga forest side alla nam kade alla mysore kade howdu animals do kaata jaasti irutte iga man and animal conflict idiyala ivaga they are they are responsible directly responsible for wild animals wild animals avare animals enadru nam crop na add madidre 1000 <laughs> 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 so as i already mentioned that this uh, uh, session is uh, covered in youtube so it is on youtube live also so you can check the youtube channel of vivekananda college of law where you where you can you can see the lecture you can go through the session also and i want to thank uh, uh, shri karyana sir who has joined for a while from oh, saraswati college chitradurga <laughs> and even uh, manjunath sir manjunath oh. ng sir from vidyodaya oh. law college has joined sir okay. i uh, wholeheartedly thank him also and i thank all the students from across the state so okay. many of the students have joined from uh, outside uh, bangalore also uh, yeah. some of them are from hubli uh, some okay. of them are from bagalkot so we are Super. so happy uh, that we are reaching out to the students sir reaching and out our students. purpose is served actually served actually <laughs> Yeah, so num- number num- number because of your efforts yeah. Yeah. we take effort sir but that has to reach the students no that is yeah. our uh, purpose actually uh, that i think uh, our purpose is served and i am so happy that sir has uh, 
uh, actually uh, uh, taken lots of pain to prepare this PPT and every time he has to explain it and so nicely and calmly, coolly he will explain each and everything. And again, I am learning so many new things, even though I am teaching law torts for a six to seven years. Uh, every time I listen to sir, I will learn so many <laughs> new things. And uh, the nature of how to teach the law of torts is different every time, sir. <laughs> thank you so much, sir. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you so much for spending time with us, sir. Madam, 